in this season of summer, travel is often front and center. After deciding on a destination, one of the first questions we usually ask is, what will I pack in my suitcase? I'm not sure how it is in your house, but in ours, it's a toss up between packing lightly or putting as much as possible in the car so we have all the hiking and sports toys we want. In today's gospel, Jesus sends his disciples on a healing mission and exhorts them to travel lightly. I think it's important for us to take Jesus's message to heart, not just when we're on a spiritual mission, but in the ordinary moments of our daily lives. Let's now take a look at what it means to travel lightly through life with a focus on the inner being and what can help us do that. So what inner qualities are helpful for our journey? One that is foundational is trust. It's important that we trust ourselves and trust the God within us and around us in our decision-making travels. The second is letting go, which can be difficult and challenging. As we travel through life, we experience many transitions in family, in places of employment or residence, our health, and our beliefs. Moving into different phases requires letting go of what has been and embracing something new. Although this can be challenging, it's something we need to do to travel lightly as Jesus invites us to do. The third quality I want to mention is allowing ourselves to be fed by beauty. The first reading from Isaiah contains a beautiful image of nursing at the breast of the city of Jerusalem when those who were exiled returned home. Allowing ourselves to be fed at the breast of creation, at the breast of a listening heart, at the breast of an, an inspiring conversation are beautiful ways that help us walk lightly through life and return home to ourselves. Other qualities such as humility and gratitude also help us walk lightly. But the qualities of trust, letting go, and being fed by beauty are the ones I want to emphasize this morning. I'd like to offer two examples that speak of Jesus's message. The first is about Dawn Staley, who grew up in North Philadelphia, is a Hall of Fame women's basketball coach and led her University of South Carolina basketball team to its second NCAA championship this past April. I spoke about Dawn in a previous homily and today want to talk about how she has traveled lightly through life. A couple of weeks ago, the Philadelphia Inquirer, as part of their Title IX series, highlighted her contributions to women's sports and beyond. In an interview where her impact was compared to that of two brilliant and highly successful black coaches, John Thompson and John Cheney, Staley said this, I think our work of giving a voice to the voiceless is all the same. I think someone has to take the reins and keep speaking up. Some of the ways Staley does this publicly is advocating for the hiring of more Black people, for greater equity in all phases of women's sports, and for greater care of the player's mental health. In her words, 
People don't always agree with what I'm saying, but I give perspective, maybe a different perspective than what is the norm. And there's nothing wrong with that. She goes on to say how important it is to bring diverse opinions together. For example, as a head coach, she puts together a game plan and then runs it by her assistant coaches. When their ideas differ, they bang it out, argue it out, and play devil's advocate on each of their perspectives. Dawn says, their perspective is only going to help me either solidify my belief or change it to increase our chances of winning. As coaches, we listen, we learn, we teach, we grow, and we grow our team. Dawn Staley walks lightly through life, sporting wonderful inner qualities. She trusts that differing perspectives will make her and everyone else around her better. She is able to let go of her way of doing things and accept that someone else's idea may be superior to hers. Finally, she allows herself to be nourished at the breast of honest conversation and be fed by their challenge and beauty. Trust, letting go, and beauty help Dawn Staley walk lightly through life. The second example is one of simplicity. A couple of weeks ago, I babysat our five-month-old granddaughter, Tenley, in Atlanta, Georgia, as our daughter, Tara, attended a conference. Because Tara is breastfeeding, the pediatrician recommended she bring the baby. Now, physically, this was anything but a lightweight travel. <laughs> Among the many things Tara brought, were diapers, baby wipes, outfits, bottles, bottle warmer, stroller, car seat, toys, and books. And these were just pretendly. Yet, as I reflected on our experiences of the week, there was a lightness to our time together. Tenley and I adventured on the trails at Emory University. Then the, uh, the, the motion of the paved and unpaved trails, as well as the musical sounds of the singing birds and the soft, warm breezes gave her good sleep time. People, some with their dogs, walked lightly alongside us and engaged in brief conversation and were mesmerized by her cute baby looks. And when she was awake on the trail, her smile and dancing eyes captivated their hearts. When Tara came up to feed her at the breaks in her conference, she was able to let go of the intensity and seriousness of the business meeting and engage in the intimacy and playfulness of nursing Tenley. In Tara's words, I'm not gonna lie, getting baby hugs throughout this meeting is really nice. Somehow, Tenley helped put it all in perspective. Tara, Tenley, our trail mates, and I were able to travel lightly in the midst of schedules and commitments. The simplicity of a five-month-old baby drove Jesus's message home. Tara and I trusted this would all work out. We let go of an exact schedule and lived into the moment. Although Tenley was literally fed at the breast, we and our trail mates were fed at the breast of simplicity and beauty through Tenley's smiles and presence. Here was an embodiment of that beautiful image in the first reading. Our God was nursing us and feeding us in these moments. Each one of us is called to travel 
lightly in every moment, whether one of challenge, celebration, disappointment, or accomplishment. During the coming week, think about how you can walk lightly through the moments of your week and be a good companion for those people in your life. Thank <laughs> you.